Now that we've learned the basics of cells, we're going to talk a lot about membranes. So the surrounding of the cells. Um, this is going to be the rest of this week, and it's going to be basics of membranes, the phospholipid bilayer, the proteins in the membrane, and then transport mechanisms. So how do we get things in and out of the cell when we need to through that selective barrier? So this is just an intro video um, to talk about the basics. This is the starting point. First, let's remind ourselves what a eukaryotic cell looks like. Okay, there it is. Um, could you label the components? such as the plasma membrane surrounding the cell, keeping it separate from the external environment, um, the ICF separate from the ECF. We've got our nucleus, and we've got our cytoplasm, which is composed, of course, our cytosol and organelles. So these are the three main components. Um, the makeup of a basic eukaryotic cell, and then we've got the two fluid compartments. So we are going to dive into the plasma membrane. Plasma membrane, it is, does not really look like these two lines, believe it or not. It looks a little bit more like this. All right, um, and this is still not like a real picture, right? So the plasma membrane is made up of the phospholipid bilayer, as well as several other components embedded in that bilayer. So I'll talk through each of these. Phospholipids are the yellow shown down here. They make up a bilayer, a bilayer of phospholipids. You will have a whole lecture, I believe it's next, on the phospholipid bilayer itself and the important structures of the phospholipid bilayer and, and phospholipids themselves. Um, they make up the bulk of the plasma membrane, but they're not the only thing. So besides that, there are there, there is coded um, a precursor to all the steroids in there, but the rigidity in the cell membrane versus rigid the cell membrane is. We won't talk about cholesterol much more in the cell membrane. Okay, then we have proteins. They are very important. Proteins are purple blobs shown here. They're not really blobs in real life. Um, I'll go over a couple of general types on the next slide, and then we'll talk a lot about the proteins because that's like determines the function of the plasma membrane, which it actually has function determined what it can do, what it can communicate it, what it can let in. Most of them, it can be span the entire membrane. There's some that are on the edges as well. So these span the whole entire carbohydrate chain that form. Uh, glycocalyx, which is a fuzzy coat that has to be ID tag. So the way it is, um, identify self from non self protection that literally is fuzzy protection and cell adhesion. So these glycocalyx cells can bind to it, adhere to other cells. Um, we'll talk a ton about those, um, but also really, you, they're very um, important also for transplant blood donation um, compatibility, which we'll talk about a, a little bit. So the most important are those membrane proteins. So let's look at a few like receptors. So here there's a chemical messenger. Another word for chemical messenger is signaling. Um, this means it's something they bind, right, to some specific. This example here, this is going to create some signal. Conduction is, is what that is. This one is an enzyme. So similar idea. There's a chemical messenger that is interacting with this protein. But in this case, we've got a breakdown of that product because that's what enzymes do, right? Um, 
so it's otherwise similar to receptors, and we won't see them as much in this class, but it's really very important. These two proteins here are both channels. That means that they allow types of ions. The difference between these two, what do you think? What does it look like? Well, this one's just open. This one here is called It's just open all the time. This one is gated. It's a gated channel. And we'll talk more about different types of gates meaning different stimuli for different. It could either be um, an, a ligand binding, electrical changes, mechanical changes that cause that gate to open. It's going to be pretty important. Um, related to channels is carrier proteins. So for glucose, we will see this. It's similar to a channel, but it functions very slightly differently. You can almost put it in the same box in your head because it's going to allow for passive transport. Spoilers, um, meaning that it's different, allow for difference between them. But yeah. Um, I guess I will actually mention as well another type is a pump. So these are two other types that are similar to channels. Let me label that a little more clearly here in that. Their transport. So this is transport, transport, transport. We have a whole lot more coming on transport proteins. A pump, the spoiler with that, it is going to require active transport. And this is also going to be, um, we'll just preview that right now. Okay. Then these last two are going to be a little bit less important in our class. Um, this is a cell, actually, sorry, I'm sorry. This is a glycoprotein. So you saw these, there we go, in the previous lecture, um, those cell identity markers that are the carbohydrate chains that are distinguishing, distinguishing one cell from another. This one is a cell adhesion molecule. That's, that's this right here. So it's binding to another cell. So those are both um, types of glycoprotein that have two different functions, just seeing them in action. Definitely, I'm going to start here, the most important. It's going to be our receptors. And by saying most important, I mean for this class, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to say what's the most important in biology overall. Receptors will be important, and the rest of this week will be focused on um, different types of transport proteins, getting things in and out of the cell. Okay, we're going to do a first learning check here. In just a moment here, it's going to show up. I want you to look at the different types of proteins and tell me. Each of these proteins, different types. We've got membrane proteins, like we just saw in the last slide, but we've got other proteins too. Each of these proteins is encoded by a section of what? This is review from the previous lecture on um, gene expression. 